In this video I'm going to show you how easy it is to make a previous version's family browser available in a new version of Revit. Okay, so I've got um, Revit 2020 open here and um, by default it's just come up with when I've installed it into Revit 2020 it creates a, um, a demo library if there hasn't already been one created. Now I know I've created a Family Browser R3 library for 2019 and I would like 2020 to point to exactly the same library and folder structure as 2019 so there is just one common folder structure for multiple versions of, of Revit and that is one way of doing it um, and we deal with that pretty easily um, so what we're going to do is I'm going to create a, a link for for Revit 2020 Family Browser to my 2019 library. To do that we click on the settings icon which takes us to the um, to our dashboard. I'm just going to create this so that we can see both working together. Alright, I'm going to go to the database manager. From within the database manager I'm going to click on the libraries icon and that'll bring up all the available libraries that we have. So we've got a family browser demo 2019 company documentation. So there goes three libraries that have been created in 2019. We've also got the 2020 family browser demo available there as well. So what I'm wanting to do is I'm wanting to copy um, create a link, not copy, but create a link to these two libraries and have them available for 2020. So I'm just going to expand the co company documentation one. We've got the assigned users, but we've also got a tab here called linked Revit versions. Okay, I want to create a new link and I want it to be available. Click on save on that one. <coughs> and I also want the company model components as well linked. And you can link it to multiple versions. We can create one for 2021 as well and that will be available. And we're going to save those changes too. Alright, so if we go back over to Revit here, those are now available. So if I click on, we've got all the families that were previous set up in Revit 2019 now available for Revit 2020, as simple as that. If I right mouse click on here and go to File Properties, it is looking at my 2019 library. So that's one shared library shared amongst all versions of Revit or selected versions of Revit. One of the advantages of this, if I was to create a new tab in in this library now in the 2020, it would also show up in 2019 in any other linked library because it is actually just one library. So that's one way of dealing with um, Revit Family Browser versions. Um, the other way is to make a complete copy of your folder structure and then copy the library and I'll show you that in another video. Thanks for watching.